The soft morning light filtered through the curtains, casting a warm glow on the tangled sheets and the two of you in bed. You were lying beneath jungle, both of you breathing heavily but still in sync. Her deep voice broke the silence as he whispered, One more round, baby. You shook your head slightly, a playful smile on your lips. Jungle, enough now. It's the third round already. He chuckled, his breath warm against your skin, but there was a hint of reluctance in his tone. Just one more. I have a test today, he reminded him. Your voice soft but firm. I need to prepare. With his sigh, Jungkook finally gave in, rolling off you with a disappointed grunt. He sat up on the edge of the bed, his strong back facing. As he ran a hand through his messy hair, he could see the tension in his shoulders, the frustration of being interrupted. Quickly, you pulled on his oversized shirt and got out of bed, tying your hair into a messy bun. As he moved, you couldn't help but notice the way he stood up and walked to the balcony, his bare chest exposed to the morning breeze. He was gazing out at the city, his hand gripping the railing. His silence spoke volumes. You tiptoed over to him, wrapping your arms around his bare waist from behind. Pressing your cheek against his back, you whispered, Are you upset? Jungkook let out a long breath before answering his voice quiet. No, I'm not upset, just disappointed. Disappointed, you echoed. He turned his head slightly, just enough for you to catch a glimpse of his profile. I should not have pushed you this morning. You have an important exam and I shouldn't have let it go this far. You couldn't help but smile at how sweet his concern was. Don't feel guilty, cook. I'm the one who wanted it. Remember? He chuckled lightly, squeezing him a little tighter, so chill. Jungkook shook his head but didn't argue. He placed his hands over yours on his waist, sighing softly. Still, I should have thought about your test. He pouted, pressing your lips against his back in a soft kiss. We could always have one more round if you are feeling bad about it. You teased, knowing well how much he wanted that. For a moment, you saw his lips twitch into a small smile, but then he reached into his pocket, pulling out a no, he said softly, letting it up. You watched as he inhaled the smoke, his face calm but distant. Jungkook, seriously? You muttered, your tone filled with disappointment. He glanced at you out of the corner of his eye, the cigarette resting between his fingers. What? Can't you just stop smoking, you asked, your voice tinged with concern. You hated seeing him like this, knowing the toll it took on his health. He shook his head slowly, exhaling a puff of smoke into the morning air. I can't, darling. It's part of me now. Your lips twisted with frustration as you stepped back from him, arms crossed over your chest. It's not good for your health, Jungkook. He flicked the ash from and looked at you with those deep, dark eyes that always made your heart race. I know, he admitted, but I have been doing this for a long time. He wanted to argue but knew it was a losing battle. Instead, you sighed and nodded, deciding to let it go for now. Fine, you muttered under your breath. Jungkook gave you a soft smile, though the steel hung from his lips. Go with Rally. I will drop you off at college. Hmm. You hummed in response, stepping back and heading toward the bathroom. You could feel his eyes on you as you walked away, but you didn't turn around. You needed to focus on your test, but part of you still wished you could stay wrapped up in him a little longer. The sound of the shower filled the bathroom as you stepped inside, letting the warm water cascade over your body. Your thoughts were still with Jung, the way he had looked at you, the smoke curling around him like a veil. You couldn't shake the image from your mind. After the shower, you wrapped yourself in a towel and returned to the bedroom where Jungkook was waiting. He had put on a black t-shirt and his hair was still damp from a quick rinse. You ready? He asked, his voice calm but still carrying that edge of disappointment. Yeah, you said, pulling on your clothes quickly. Jungkook stood by the door, keys in his hand, but his eyes softened as they met yours. Good luck on your test today, he murmured, reaching out to gently brush a strand of hair from your face. You smiled up at him, your heart fluttering at the small, thoughtful gesture. Thanks. With a final glance, you followed him out the door, both of you silently walking toward the car. 
Despite the earlier tension, you knew one thing for sure, no matter what, Jungkook always had your back. Even if he frustrated you, you loved him for the way he cared. It had been a year since you and Jungkook became a couple, and thinking about how it all started always brought a smile to your face. Your introduction to him was anything but ordinary. He had kidnapped you by mistake, thinking you were someone else. When you first met, instead of fear, you were excited to meet him, a mafia leader. That reaction had shocked him and strangely, it impressed him too. From that moment, Jungkook was drawn to you. He tried all kinds of ways to win your heart, flowers, gifts, even learning how to cook just to impress you. Eventually, he succeeded and you fell in love with him. The fact that you both loved adventure and shared the same romantic spirit made your relationship even stronger. Now, after breakfast, the two of you were heading to your college. Jungkook was driving as usual and you sat beside him in front seat going over your notes for the test. You were focused, trying to make the most of the time to prepare. But Jungkook had other ideas. As he drove, his hand shifted and before you knew it, his lips gently brushed against your neck. The soft touch sent a shiver down your spine. Jungkook, you warned, still looking at your book. He let out a small chuckle and said, Okay, okay. Pulling back with a mischievous smile, you glanced at him briefly, noticing the playful gleam in his eyes, but tried to refocus on your studying. After a few minutes, Jungkook struck again. His lips found your neck while you were in the middle of reading. You sighed, shaking your head. Jungkook stopped. You said, half annoyed but unable to hide the small smile tugging at your lips. Sorry, he mumbled, sitting back in his seat, pretending to focus on the road. But you knew he was in time. He never was when it came to teasing you. After a few moments of quiet, you sensed him leaning again. This time you didn't even give him a chance. You snapped your book closed with a loud thud and glared at him, your eyes sharp. Jungkook froze, his mischievous grin vanishing as he quickly sat back in his seat like a scolded cat. You couldn't help but smirk at how easily you could make him behave. Good, made in that discipline. You teased, giving him a pointed look before opening your book again. He cleared his throat. Pretending to be serious, as he gripped the steering wheel, yes ma'am, he muttered quietly though you could see the faint smell tugging at the corner of his lips. The rest of the drive was quiet with Jungkook obediently keeping his distance. It was strange, really? The man who could shake the world with just a word who commanded an empire was sitting beside you completely tamed by his girlfriend. You smiled to yourself, secretly enjoying how much power you had over to him even though he was the feared mafia leader. At that moment, you knew he was completely yours. Later, the car slowed as you neared the college and you noticed students smiling around outside the entrance. He pulled up to the curb, but before you could open the door, he grabbed your hand, stopping you. Wait, he said. His tone suddenly serious. You turned to him surprised by the change in his demeanor. His eyes softened as he looked at you, a hint of something unspoken behind them. You will do great on your test, he said quietly, his thumb gently rubbing over your knuckles. I know how hard you have been working. Your heart swelled at his words, the unexpected encouragement making you smile. Thanks, book. He leaned in person, a soft kiss to your forehead. I will be coming in the evening to pick you up. We'll have a hot session tonight. He winked, very smile, as you like to enjoy with him. As you stepped out of the car and made your way towards the building, you felt his eyes on you the whole time. Even from a distance, you could feel the weight of his protective gaze. Turning back, you caught a glimpse of him through the car window, his expression soft but watchful, as if ensuring you were safe even now. With one final wave, you disappeared into the building, but even as you walked through the halls of your college, surrounded by students and professors, you couldn't shake the feeling that no matter where you were, Jungkook was always there watching over you. And that thought made you feel more secure than anything else in the world. As you were walking down the crowded corridor, flipping through your notes, you suddenly felt a light smack on your back. Startled, you spun around to see your best friend Nina grinning mischievously at you. 
Good morning, Bosch. She greeted, her voice careful and teasing. You rubbed your bear, she would smack you, giving her a mouth glare. Good morning, Nina, you said, unable to hide the smile creeping onto your face. So, how is the exam preparation going? You groan dramatically, rolling your eyes. Not well, dude. I have barely gone through half the material. Nina smirked and gave you sympathetic pat on the shoulder. You will be fine. You always managed to pull through Before you could respond, you noticed her eyes suddenly widened as they focused on your neck. Ah, why? What's that on your neck? She asked. You frowned, confused for a second before you quickly brought your hand up to your neck, your fingers brushing over the skin. Your heart sank when you felt the raised red mark and realized what she was talking about. She said, raising an eyebrow. Oh shit, you blurted, immediately covering it with your hair. I forget to hide it. I knew something was up when you came in here looking all distracted. She handed you her concealer from her bag. Here uses, but honestly, I think it suits you. Show off the kind of morning session you had. You shot her a look, playfully smacking her up. Shut up, Nina. It's not what you think. Oh, really? Then what is it? Hmm? The jungle just on your neck for fun? You quickly ducked into the nearest bathroom, dragging her along. Standing in front of the mirror, you started diving concealer over the wall she stood beside you, grinning from ear to ear. Come on, tell me the juicy details. You were with Jungkook, weren't you? She pressed, leaning against the sink and crossing her arms. You sighed, shaking your head but unable to keep the smile off your face. Yeah, I was with him in this morning. But it wasn't supposed to get this out of hand. I have a test today, remember? Mina's eyes twinkled with mischief as she teased. I bet you will write more about what happened in bed than on our actual exam paper. Seriously? Stop. I'm already stressed about this test. I don't need you making it worse. She chuckled, holding up her hands in surrender. Okay, okay, I will stop, but you can't blame me for teasing. I mean, it's not every day I see you with a massive. You have to in response, focusing on covering the mark. When you were satisfied with the concealer job, you glanced at her. Better? Mina leaned in, inspecting your neck like she was some kind of expert. Hmm, good enough, but just don't let anyone stare too long or they will notice and maybe stop letting Jungkook attack your neck when you have exams, okay? You love tossing the concealer back into her bag. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. As the two of you left the bathroom and headed towards your exam room, Mina couldn't help but keep the teasing going. So tell me how is Jungkook doing, I'm sure he was pretty energetic this morning. On the other hand, it was early afternoon and Jungkook sat in his sleek office going over Finan's files related to a crucial weapon skill. His eyes scanned the documents focused and intense. Everything seemed under control until the door creaked open without a knock. Jungkook's head snapped up, his expression hardening. A familiar figure strode into the room with a smug look. Good afternoon, Mr. Jungkook, the man said, his voice dripping with mock politeness. Jungkook leaned back in his chair, smirking when he realized who it was. Well, well, Mr. Han, he said, crossing his arms. I never thought I would see the day you would walk into my office uninvited. What a strange surprise. Mr. Han chuckled as he casually settled into one of the chairs opposite Jungkook. I didn't think I would be here either, but desperate times, you know. Jungkook raised an eyebrow. Desperate times? Huh? So what brings you here? Mr. Han wasted no time. I heard you have been blocking my vehicles from entering your territory. He said bluntly. Jungkook smirked deep and he heard right. I don't allow things that harm my people. Mr. Han chuckled again leaning back in his seat. Come on Jungkook, we are mafia. Since when do we care about what's harmful? Jungkook's expression turned cold, his voice dropping dangerously low. Still, your cargo crosses the line. I won't let it through. Mr. Han's eyes narrowed. If you don't let my vehicles pass, you will be facing some serious consequences. At that, Jungkook threw his hand back and laughed. The sound echoing in the room, it wasn't a laugh of amusement, it was more like a warning. He stopped abruptly, his gaze now piercing into Mr. Han's. Consequences. 
he repeated, his voice dripping with sarcasm. Do you really think you will walk out of here unharmed after threatening me in my office in the lion's den? Mr. Hans face twisted with anger. In a flash, he pulled a gun from his jacket and pointed it straight at Jungkook's chest. The room was silent for a brief moment, but Jungkook didn't flinch. Instead, a dark smile spread across his face. Really? That's your plan? He said, standing up slowly. Before Mr. Hunt could react, Jungkook lunged forward, grabbing his breast with lightning speed. In a matter of seconds, he had twisted the gun out of Mr. Hunt's hand and aimed it back at him. You should know by now, he said his voice low and dangerous. You can't harm the king. I don't just run this empire. I own it. Mr. Hunt's face paled as the reality of the situation sank in. Jungkook took a step closer, still trying to on him. If you have value for your life, I suggest you start running. He said his eyes narrowing because if you count to five and you're still here, you won't leave in this world. Without another word, Mr. Han turned and bottled up the office, disappearing down the hallway. Jungkook chuckled, lowering the gun. I thought so. He muttered to himself, shaking his head as he sat down at his desk, completely unpleased. You and Nina sneaked into the backyard of the college, a little spot where no one would usually check. The adrenaline rushed through you as you kept looking around to make sure no one was watching. Nina, hurry up, you whispered, bouncing on your feet nervously. Do it fast before someone sees us. Nina grinned mischievously as she rummaged through her back. Relax, wine, no one is going to see us here. She handed you with a sly smile, your eyes widened as you held it between your fingers, marveling at it like it was something magical. I can't believe I'm actually going to try this, you said, your heart pounding. The idea of doing something rebellious even just for a moment thrilled you. Come on, just put it in your mouth. I will light it for you, she urged, holding up a lighter. You hesitated, staring at the, your heart racing even faster. I'm nervous. You confessed, biting your lip. It's fine. It won't harm you. Trust me. She reassured, laughing a little at your hesitation. With a deep breath, you slowly put the between your lips. Mina leaned forward, ready to light it. But at the last second, you pulled it out. I can't do this. You blurted out, shaking your head. Mina rolled her eyes playfully, come on wine, it's just one puff, you will be fine. You sighed, feeling a mix of excitement and guilt. Okay, okay, I will try again. You brought the bag to your lips, determination settling in this time. Just as Mina was about to light it, a loud voice startled both of you. Wine. You jumped, pulling the out of your mouth immediately and trying to hide it behind your back. Your eyes shot down, wide open, when you saw Jungkook walking towards you, his face serious as he approached quickly. Jungkook, you exclaimed, your heart pounding for a whole new reason now. Mina stood frozen, her eyes darting between you and Jungkook, clearly panting. Uh oh, she muttered under her breath. Jungkook came to pick you up from school as he told you that he would in the morning. He waited for you in the car for half an hour. Finally, he came in and as you didn't show up even after half an hour. Jungkook reached you in a matter of seconds, his piercing gaze fixed on you. What are you doing, Ryan? He asked, his voice firm. Nothing, you replied too quickly, trying to act innocent, but you were definitely caught. You raised an eyebrow. Nothing. Then why am I smelling? You tried to play it off, glancing at Mina for backup. Really? I don't smell anything. You said, giving him a nervous laugh. Jungkook wasn't buying it. He stepped closer, his hand reaching around to pull your arm forward. What are you hiding? He asked, eyeing your closed fist. Realizing there was no escape, you sighed and opened your hand, revealing the I thought I would write since you smoke all the time. You confessed your voice more. Jungkook's expression softened, and he chuckled softly at your innocence. 
You are too much, he muttered. One, it's harmful to your health. You shouldn't be doing this. But you do it all the time, you said, pouting as you crossed your arms. Jungkook sighed, stepping closer, his hand cupping your cheek gently. I know, but it's different for me. I have been doing it for a long time. I don't want to get addicted to or hurt your health because of me. Your lips twitched in disappointment. Why do you care so much? You mumbled, feeling a little guilty now. Jungkook's eyes softened even more as he leaned in, brushing his thumb across your cheek. Because I love you, he said quietly, and I want you to be healthy, to live a long, happy life. You blinked his words, making your heart flutter. Exactly, he said suddenly, stepping back and crossing your arms again. I love you too, which is why I want you to stop smoking. You need to stay healthy too, you know. Jungkook blinked at your surprise by your sudden boldness, then a small smile tugged at his lips. So this was your plan all along, huh? He asked, amusement dancing in his eyes. Yes, I knew you wouldn't listen if I just told you, so I had to show you how it feels. Jungkook shook his head, chuckling softly. You're a naughty girl, Ryan. You smirked, crossing your arms again. Good, that's exactly what I wanted. Now you see how much I care about you. Jungkook sighed, running a hand through his hair. Okay, okay, I will get it. I will try to quit, but it won't happen overnight. It's an addiction. You beamed at him. That's all I wanted to hear. Jungkook stepped closer, his eyes darkening with mischief. Well, since you treat me like that, I think you deserve a punishment. Before you could react, Jungkook scooped you up into his arms effortlessly, making you squeal in surprise. Jungkook, put me down, he protested, laughing as he squirmed in his grip. Nope, you have got this coming, he teased, carrying you towards his car with ease. Mina, who had been slightly watching the entire scene unfold, shook her head in disbelief. Oh boy, I think Wine is in trouble now. I wonder if she would feel her legs or not. She muttered under her breath, giggling as Jungkook tossed you into the car and jumped in after you. As the car door slammed shut, you glared at Jungkook playfully. You better not try anything funny, mister. You won. Jungkook smirked, leaning over you with a mischievous glint in his eyes. Too late for that, baby. 